Hi people, this is Irene Gara with Yummy Life with Irene. Guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, here we are all about making amazing yummy food and also making our own household products. And today guys, I'm going to teach you how to make your own antiseptic disinfectant. And uh, guys, I love saving. Yeah? Uh, whatever comes to me, whatever income that I earn, I like using it to the best of my ability and saving, saving, saving all the way. So today, I want to teach you how to make antiseptic disinfectant. And uh, if you go to the supermarkets, I know you know the prices, yeah? Like a bottle of 500 ml of antiseptic disinfectant, uh, going also with the brand, might cost you above a thousand shillings, which is like ten dollars. And uh, today, guys, with only three hundred Kenya shillings, that is three dollars, I will teach you how to make five liters of antiseptic disinfectant, and you're able to use it everywhere in your house. So, guys, uh, these are the products that we are going to use today. And uh, these products, if you're in Nairobi, Kenya, you can get them at uh, OTC. If you know bus stop called OTC, where there was the old Tuskies behind Equity Bank. Yeah? There's a, there's a shop there called Chem Station Chemicals. You can go there and tell them to sell you whatever product you, you want to make. If you're making antiseptic, you're making det detergent, you're making fabric softener, you're making shower gel. You know, guys, I'll teach you to make all these things. So when you go there, they do very good labeling. Uh, these are the products. And you will find like this one is written number one. So definitely, you know, this is the product that you're supposed to start with. Then there's number two, there's number three, and there's number four. So guys, let us start. So guys, you're going to need a clean basin, a wooden cooking spoon. This is not what I use to cook my food with. This is just for making my products for cleaning. And uh, guys, you're going to put the first, the first chemical that is written number one. And every time, guys, I want you to note, every time... You, you you will find like you're making uh, some product. If it's written number one in about two, three different chemicals, you will need to put all of them together. Then once you've put number one, you stir gently, but you make sure you incorporate air in it. And guys, there are some of these products that you will need to make that are a bit strong, like making something like uh, the toilet disinfectant. It's, uh, it produces a bit of fumes, so you will need to have a mask if you're doing that. But I'm used to doing this, so guys... You make sure you mix all your, good, your, your product very well then this is well mixed and incorporated with air then you are going to add whatever they've written number two guys the names the botanical names of these products are quite quite difficult so i can't master all of them but if you go to chem station and you tell them you want to make antiseptic disinfectant and tell them to write for you. They will tell you how to use it. So we've put product number two. We stir very well, incorporating air and mixing product number one and number two. Guys, this will really shock you, you know? 300 bob for 5 liters of antiseptic. That is antiseptic that I can use very well in my household. Cleaning, washing clothes, washing the toilet, cleaning floors for about 6 months. 
with 300 shillings. So guys, you can tell that number two and number one is well incorporated. Then from there, we have product number three. And guys, when you're doing this, always take care that you're doing it in an aerated room and uh, there is no child that is near you. Remember guys, these are chemicals. So you really need to take care of your loved ones and your family members. This is also product number three. Then we thoroughly mix again. Yeah. Guys, I can honestly tell you, when you get to product number three, incorporate it very well, automatically you can smell disinfectant. You know, disinfectant has this kind of uh, fresh, minty eh? smell. You can smell it already. Then after you've done product number three, you're going to get, guys, you should always have a clean cloth close to you because this can easily spill so that you're able to clean it up. You're going to get five liters of water. And uh, this is five liters of water. Pour it all very carefully and don't spill. Guys, the water is splatting around everywhere. That is our five liters of water. Clean water. Then you start this thoroughly. Yeah? In a circular motion. Then you change the motion again, anti-clockwise. This helps incorporate all the product and the water. Guys, don't get tired of stirring. You want a smooth product. So you have to incorporate everything very well. And that is why it's advisable always to use a, you know, I like using white basins because I'm able to see exactly what color I'm getting. And also a basin because of, of, the, uh, of the way it's uh, made will help you incorporate every product very well. Guys, you can tell by looking at it that my product is well incorporated with the water. So from here, we go to put now the color. Yeah? Everybody knows. The color of antiseptic is yellow. So that is product number four. They have labeled it very well for you. But guys, this color is universal color and not food color. This color is a lot. Yeah, guys. So we are not going to put all of it. You're just going to put a little using our wooden wooden spoon. Measure with it. Yeah. I've put like quarter of the product. And guys, look, look at the color the color it's giving me.
So always have a bucket, you know, where you can store all your, you know, your, your when you're making all your products, like where you, you put your wooden spoon, that so that the kids in the house can't be able to reach them. And guys, I wish you could smell this. Yeah? It's smelling so fresh. Tie it very well and gently so that it doesn't also spill all over. Guys, you will know you're doing a good job if when you're stirring, it's forming. You know, this form that is being formed. And this form does two things. Yeah? One, it shows you that everything is incorporated in very well. Number two, this form is going to be your signal to know that your, your product is ready for use. So once you've done this, all you are going to do that is why, remember, I, I, I wanted you guys to have a cleaning towel or a wet towel. You're able to clean your wooden stick. Keep it aside. And guys, here is antiseptic disinfectant. So what you're going to do now, you're going to keep it aside and give it time. You know, time to settle and... Uh, you know, chemicals, they have to mix up very well for it to set. And uh, also when all this form that has formed on top is cleared, because it will clear itself. And by that time, it will tell you that the product is ready to use. So guys, you're going to take five liter of product using a funnel. You're going to put your product in the in the five liters and you're ready to store your product and use it for six months so guys let's uh, give it two to three hours for it to blend in very well then we'll come back and I'll show you my people we are finished in uh, mixing so what you're going to do you're going to take uh, your product and put it aside somewhere safe where somewhere the kids cannot reach and uh, once you've done that, you're going to give it two to three hours until when you see the form that I was telling you about, the form that you have seen, has cleared on top. And it is, you can see the product, uh, you know, until the base, yeah? You will know your product is ready. Then from there, you're going to be able to pack it and store it and use it. So guys, uh, let's meet after two, three hours and you will see the product. Guys, you can see exactly what I was telling you. I'm stirring it, and it does not have any bubbles, any form on top. The bubbles that are forming, definitely, you know, when you put antiseptic in water, it will form some bubbles. So that is what is forming. So guys, this is very ready for us to put it in a plastic container. I recommend plastic container because a plastic container will not, you know, it will not dissolve. It will not continue the chemical reaction because already this is already done. So this is my jug, the one that I uses. I use always to load my, well, my products in, in the containers that I'm storing. I always use a sieve and a funnel, yeah? I like being neat, and I'd hate messy, messy stuff. So guys, you remember what I told you? This product, buying it, will cost you around 400 shillings. And I want you guys to see that this is antiseptic, 
five liters. Believe you me, I know it's going to be more than five liters. The reason why I'm saving as much as you can tell, there is nothing that I'm saving, but I like just saving to be sure that no particles is getting inside. If I did the math correctly and I entered a supermarket and I bought this product for five liters, it would be above, above 10K. Yeah, above 10,000 Kenya shillings. Yeah. But see what 400 gives you. That is $4. What it gives you. So guys, I would... I would really, really recommend... Take the time. Take the initiative. Save. That extra money that you could have... You know, instead of buying it that expensive, make these products for yourself and they will serve you. They will serve your homestead and your family. And, yeah, you will have beat the, the crisis. Right now, you know, everything has gone. Guys, you can see there is forming, you know, the way antiseptic forms. So that is what is forming. So I'm going to continue. But slowly because I want the form to not to continue forming up. So I will want to give it some time, maybe like some few minutes for this form to finish. You see, but I still have a lot of antiseptic here so let's give it some few minutes for the foam to go down so that we can load it up to five liters this is even more than five liters guys it's going to be like almost six liters yeah so i would recommend go out buy the product and make it it will take you a very short, just some few minutes. You saw it, just stirring it, and it's finished, and you're able to have antiseptic in your house. Guys, remember this. In God, you're loved, you're cherished, and you're precious. So guys, buy and make the antiseptic, and let's save some coins along the way. Bye guys and thanks for watching my YouTube video.